You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'm headed to Purgatory. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Will your new heavy armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you fight. Well, I won't stop a Reaper, but an extra second of shielding can be life or death. So Vortex makes good shield capacitors? The best. They don't skip on plating either. I love it. Sounds like you want to get back out there to try it out. You know, a little. Can't wait to show it off to the team. Maybe I can take point more often now. This sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. I recovered some texts from a library in Reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D-24 if that would help. Really? Oh, damn. It couldn't hurt. Thank you. Maybe those texts will help the Asari remember how to fight again. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented this body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. 
This is proving to be an illuminating experience. You just introduced me as your personal assistance mech. Yeah, well, it was the only way to get you inside. But you know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI with Reaper-based code. They would lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. Your turn. Counselor Tavos. Hot, but points off for attitude. Shaira the consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Linron. Ew. Your turn. Counselor Tavos. Hot, but points off for attitude. Shaira the consort. Yes, make it required reading. Light from the shadows, path of the Justicar, all of it. I've made sure Arcathea's backing on this. I want every Asari maiden thinking with the mind. the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Commander, thanks for coming. This must be really hard on your sister. I'm very sorry for her loss. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. I hope Sarah can find some peace here. I'm glad I can be here for her. She wanted me to say something about her family. Wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. I'm so proud of her. She's no career soldier, but there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. Right. Here we go. Okay. Remember the trip to the beach, the summer before I left for basic training? I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. 
The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Will Falaire be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But... Following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. After obtaining a cure to the genophage. Hello again, Shepard. Goodbye, Samara. Farewell, Shepard. Lieutenant Commander Ashley Williams, the second Perhaps you could send the girl to your side of the family. Are you kidding? My family disowned me when I married Neota. Want to guess why? Oh, my. They'd be happier to see those Cerberus assholes than they would be to see me. I understand why you would not wish to send your daughter to them. Yeah, well, your understanding doesn't help me or my daughter much right now. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? 
He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You're sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hid here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. Unless we win this war, it'll be the last time any of us see the citadel. Soak this in while you can, Javik. Do not be so dismissive, Commander. Someday the things you have lost will be the things you would kill to have back. Such as? Order. The rule of law. From here, our empire dictated the course of the galaxy. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. Hey, Hannah. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face of an Enkindler. They consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? I am. But... If you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many, there may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among the living... Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. But you are still alive now. That alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. My people knew your kind when you were young. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive and we will fight back. Thank you. That meant a lot. Commander Shepard. It must be an honor to have a Prothean fighting alongside you. I'm just glad he's on our side. You haven't seen him get angry. Neither have you, Commander. Thank you, Commander. I have enjoyed my time here, walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Thank you again, Earth Clan. Let me know when you want to see the office. You've never 
ever been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... Must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus... It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC. But Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. What are you... Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You're gonna go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Said? Until we killed Korlak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How do you know my name all of a sudden? Good question. Alliance forces were able to evacuate all students. Hello, Commander Wrong door. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... 
You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. You should have gone to C-Sec if your life was in danger. And be thrown into prison? No. The things they would do to me after the damage I caused. What intel did you give Cerberus on this colony? Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. All right. I tried playing nice. Maybe my friend can get you to see reason. Now wait just a moment. You mind, Zaid? It'd be a goddamn pleasure. I'll leave you to it. It'll be a while before anyone shows up for him. It's Aphis. Cerberus will attack a colony called Aphis for its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Take it. It's all yours, I promise. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. for deals you never see coming. Please obey all local government restrictions when purchasing protective equipment. Thank you for shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Proceeds from all sales go to help the troops on Palavan. Professional grade equipment at reasonable prices. That's Cipratine. We appreciate your visit. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. 
But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Shoot smart. Shoot Nosastra. All licensed huntresses may apply for a professional discount. Good hunting. Excuse me? Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Her name is Tasha Pore. Of course. P-O-R-A-E. No, I realize you can't tell me where she was deployed. Can you inform me if she's under orders not to communicate with her family? It's uh, been a while since I heard from her. Uh-huh. But I would be contacted if she were injured, correct? Yes, I'm listed as her bond mate. Yes, I can hold. Her name is Tasha Pore. Of course. P Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. At Kanala Exports, we, appreciate we believe visit. that a peaceful heart is a strong heart. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Please visit any of our Elcos Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Welcome to Serta. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Be safe. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Batarian State Arms, defending the hegemony. Stand strong for your people with Batarian State Arms. Your purchases are a credit to the hegemony. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. 
Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Do you know the current leader of the Suns? Vosk, don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real popular after that. We couldn't boot him from the Suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a bullet. Do you know the current leader of the Suns? James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat... Ow! I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but... You know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure, the good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Don't just tell me. Show me. Yes, ma'am. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Always. Hey, maybe we should get magic. You want me to get an N7 tattoo? N7, sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You're such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever gonna make good on all this flirting? Uh, I was just... I didn't mean to... You know, I was just... <laughs> That's what I thought. Later, Lieutenant. Later. Ah! Careful! get here yet? No, nope. it's okay. I mean, they'll get here. They always keep their promises. And they... And the next shuttle was probably just late or something. That's all. I'm sure you're right. I look forward to meeting them. A joint Turian Krogan force has landed on a room in an attempt to retake this homeworld from Reaper forces. What's up? I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Chalkwist spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. How about you just take our medical supplies, then? No trade. That is very generous, Commander. Are, are you sure? I'm sure. We'll manage. Thank you, Commander. The stories about you are true. Good luck out there.
instructor status. Recognize. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D-24. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Now you're talking. Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? I've woken up with a Turian next to me. Still trying to make me blush, huh? Until it works. So what's your one thing? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. I'd be lying if I said I didn't hope it would inspire a certain mood. Something on your mind? It seemed like you needed time to figure us out. Are you ready to be a one Turian kind of woman? The only thing that made leaving Earth bearable was knowing you were out there somewhere. I felt the same way. The worst part about the galaxy going to hell would have been never getting to see you again. Well, here I am. Exactly where I want to be. I love you, Garrus Vicarian. Wow. The vids Joker gave me, well, they never got this far. There was the part about sleeping together, but this is... I don't know... Who needs a vid when you've got me? Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle, once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. It's windy up here. There, there. It's okay. I know there are other things you're good at. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? 
I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um, none, ma'am. Outstanding.